Defining Symmetry and Asymmetry Federalism the Terms symmetry and asymmetry are applied to relationships within a federal system. The terms apply to relationships in which a member state within a federal political system relates to the system as a whole, to the federal authority, and to each other member state. In these relationships, symmetry is defined as the level of conformity and commonality in the relations of each separate political unit of the system to both the system as a whole and to the other component units. In other words, it relates to the uniformity among member states and the pattern of these relationships within a federal system. In an ideal symmetrical federal system, each state would maintain essentially the same relationship to the federal authority. The division of powers between the federal and state governments would be virtually the same in every case. Representation in the federal government would be on the same basis for each component polity, and support of the activities of the federal government would be equally distributed. Asymmetry in a federal system, on the other hand, refers to a situation where the diversities within the larger society find political expression through component governments possessed of varying degrees of autonomy and power. A component unit would have about it a unique feature or set of features which distinguishes its relationship to the system as a whole, to the federal authority, and to each other state. The concept of asymmetric federalism describes the differences in the relationships between some component units and the central government in federal systems. Asymmetric federalism occurs when there is a difference in the degree of autonomy and power between federal units. Asymmetries appear in two forms. 1. Political or de facto asymmetries. 2. Constitutional or de jure asymmetries. 1. Political or de facto asymmetries. Political or de facto asymmetries are differences among component units and between component units and the Federation authorities based on ethnic, religious, linguistic, cultural, political, social, and economic factors that reflect the size of the population the size of the territory, wealth, and the party system of the component units. 2. Constitutional or de jure asymmetries Constitutional or de jure asymmetries are political asymmetries that are embedded in constitutional and legal texts and, as such, produce differences in status through recognition, representation, participation, veto in the federation institutions, distribution of powers through allocation, specific types opt-in and opt-out, and fiscal autonomy through raising taxes and revenues, discretion on rates and bases, reliance on transfers. Importantly, the asymmetric status indicates the power of the unit to define its position within the system, enabling, at the same time, the system to hold together.